the IES lights, a shortcut for the Illuminating Engineering Society, which has defined a file format for describing the distribution of light from a light source, which probably sounds gibberish to you. So long story short, in 3D, some light sucks, some are cool, and of them IES is the coolest. Now let us say you have a scene, this kitchen counter, and you want to add a lamp in Blender, the two main options here are either the point light or the spot, and I don't know how to describe them to you, but they both suck in interiors, like if you look over the counter where the spot is, the area, is color burned, which is absurd since the spot is casting light toward the bottom counter, in the other hand, if we have an IES light, which by the way, it's a file provided by the company or the producer that make the spotlights in real life, so he tells you here is the spot and this is how it looks in 3D, so using IES lights in interiors means you get the same result as it's in the real life model, now how can we use it in Blender, first of all, you have to use cycles, and you might dare to ask why, well because AV doesn't support the light node system, so with the same point light we added, we can open the setting and hit the use node button, and in this new sub tab, we can assign in the strength input an IES texture, once you hit it, the light will bloom because it needs a file to tell it what the light shape and how much strength it has, so here with this file icon we can assign one of the IES files we have, which you can find online and I included couple of them in the description, so you see it's much cooler than the crabby default lamp which blows the light in every direction, now couple of things we need to fix, first one is the power, the file we added has a strength in it, so this power here on the default settings is extra, and an ideal thing is to put it on zero, however we can't since with zero the light will go off, so I give it 0.5 or even less, the second thing in the file we imported is the light shape, so the radius here is also distorting the original look, and with this you can make it zero, now that we fix those two thing we can see the light as it should, with the shape that mimic the real life model. One thing before we wrap this video is the color, so I remember with other softwares, each IES light has a unique color based on its temperature which is included in the file, however here with Blender, I don't think it works that way, and you can look at it as a free space in assigning the color to each spot, still if you want to be exact, and you have the IES file name, you can look for its temperature online and use a black body to match it with the real one, and that's it, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and also if you know any answer for the questions asked, reply to it, that for sure would be cool and see you guys next time, goodbye.